opposite number here, with this uh, uh, typical Norman, or late Norman, Romanesque architecture, yes, here and here, we'll, we'll see it again from another side just now, and, uh, and uh, so that is important, okay, that's the south wall of the name, okay, that's the north wall of the A, yes, can you see where I am? See the depth of the wall with its roof standing on it, and that's what it's doing. Keep coming towards the girls. It is standing, um, free standing. So, I, I mean, this roof goes on forever. I've I, I heard it described as the biggest medieval roof in Lincoln in the world, but you're, I haven't measured it, I don't know. But, I mean, it is enormous. So, I hope you keep coming. Um, so, let us consider, gentlemen, Danny Ryan's here and said he used to come in and fans up and down on these people. So, I wonder why they got cracks in there. <laughs> uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll ask him about that later. But, so there is the south wall. There is one beam standing on the wall. Can you see where I am? Yes. yes. Okay, now look at this. One single piece of wood, mm. right? 45 feet, 15 meters, right across, standing on the other wall. And there are hundreds of those. 
Look at the size. How big does a tree, how old does a tree have to be? Keep, keep coming in, feet and, feet and hands. Can you keep going? You know what I mean? Stop. Oh, we're almost in, aren't we? Harbour. Most important in this day, uh, right up to um, really the 13th, 14th century, because it, uh, it, it, it uh, allowed the economy of Lincoln to grow, obviously. I, I mean, that is the central Midlands out there. Um, and, um, and so the Romans knew what they were doing. Those cooling towers are on the banks of the river. So this canal runs 